Hey everyone, I'm Pankaj and today I'm breaking down the basics of computer organization, what it is and why it matters. Let's imagine your computer as a super efficient office. At the heart of it all is the CPU or central processing unit. Think of the CPU as the manager. It gives out instructions, makes decisions and keeps everything running smoothly. Inside the CPU, there's something called the ALU, the arithmetic logic unit. This is like the office's math whiz. But there's also the control unit or CU. The CU acts like the office supervisor directing operations inside the CPU. It tells all the parts what to do and when, making sure instructions are followed in the right order. And then there are registers, tiny super fast storage areas inside the CPU. Think of them as the office's sticky notes holding important data and instructions the CPU is working on right now. So everything moves quickly and efficiently. Whenever the computer needs to add numbers, compare values or make a decision, the ALU gets the job done. It handles all the calculations and logic so your computer can process information lightning fast. But the CPU and ALU can't work alone. They need a place to store data, kind of like a filing cabinet. That's where memory comes in. Memory or RAM temporarily stores the data and instructions the CPU is working with right now. The more memory you have, the more tasks your computer can juggle at once. So computer organization is basically how all these parts, the CPU, ALU, control unit, registers and memory work together behind the scenes to make your computer do amazing things. Understanding this teamwork isn't just for techies. It helps you figure out why some computers are faster or more powerful than others. If you want to dive deeper, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. See you in the next one.